B-Class featured multiplayer in the Neon, the Dodge SRT4. So we're at Silverstone here. I'm going to drop to the back of the field. I love this paint job, though. It's so cool. We were talking in chat that it reminds us of uh, Need for Speed Underground. Just the way the car is built with the uh, body kit and everything and then the crazy paint looking paint job. Looks pretty cool. Gives me some uh, some memories for sure. Let's go. So I expect this to be a little bit of chaos, but it's not that bad yet. Let's see if I can get underneath a couple cars here. Oh, we're kind of stacked on the inside. Get the exit, though. Up to 13. We're crashing on us right away. Luckily, you went ghost. I keep forgetting I have to short shift this car a little bit. Right around red line or just before it. Our next group of victims we got an Integra. We got one guy off on the left. Let's see if I can drag the Integra down the straightaway and I can. Catching up to this field, this is going to be a big crash here, I think. They're banging doors and everything already. Okay, let's pass two, maybe three before the, the S is here. Yeah, three. I would love to get them all before the S's because they're going to make me slow down a lot more than I want to here, but it's fine. I'm going to get hit. Yep. Just trying to save it. Okay. Catching up to this guy again. I think third would be best. Yeah, but then I have to ship quick into fourth, though. On the brakes. I didn't even brake that well. I made it by him. I think he kind of let me have that. Alright, so leaders 5.5 on the nose, 4.9 ahead. It just keeps going down. Oh my goodness, Milkshake, thank you very much for the five gifted. Really appreciate that. I'll read it after this race. Shakes Clown, that is my fourth position. Let's hope I have straight line speed. I don't think I will though. That car looks pretty pretty little arrow and little handling upgrades, if any. Looks like I've got similar straight line speed. They're pulling over here to defend the inside. Gonna go around the outside. Some nice racing by a car that I didn't think would give me some good racing, some clean racing there from Shakes Clown. Just looking at a car that looks pretty much stock, you wouldn't expect them to be a unusually clean racer, but well done. Up in the fifth gear, I think, on exit there. Uh, maybe fourth. It might be, might have to be fourth. We got a wicked battle going on up here, though. They're, they're trying to go three wide through here. I'm going to catch it right up to the back of the field doing that, or the back of this pack because they're doing that. Shout out to the Volvo involved in this battle though. Nicely done with, with the Volvo. Oh no, that's going to be a penalty. I got a lift. Still .5, that's unfortunate. That means I have to pass everybody and clear them. I think only third place has a penalty. I don't know if the Volvo does. It looks like not, so... That means I have to find a way past all these people, then clear them by five tenths of a second. Let's see if I can make it happen. 1.6 back from the lead, three cars to pass.
I hope I have straight lane speed on somebody here so that I can have a couple easy passes. Looks like I do on the S2000. One more. Finish strong. Big curb hit there, but survived. Oh, that's a big hit. Let's try and go on the inside. Volvo wasn't happy about that. Oh, can I get this done here? If I can get this done here, I'm looking good. I know I have straight lane speed on the S2000, so I'm not too worried about lifting there. And I have the inside on the Volvo. We're all about the same speed at this point. S2000 is going in deep. Nicely held though. I'm gonna try and go a little deep here, although we're gonna get cut under by the Volvo, I think. Oh, he's gonna turn the S2000. It was the BRZ that did it. We were basically four wide there, but I now have the gap I need to win the race. As long as I don't make any mistakes, they gave it to me there. That was a gift. So it looked like the Volvo was underneath, but then the BRZ came in even hotter underneath the Volvo. Because the BRZ was the one continuing the contact. Either way, the S2000 got dumped and I got the lead by a lot. I'm just pulling the gap now. I've grown it at about 1.5 seconds so far. And it just keeps growing. I didn't think I'd be able to catch up to that lead pack, especially that quick, and then I got I picked up that penalty and I thought I was in trouble, but ended up being no problem at all. Luckily they made a bit of contact on turn two. Well I guess it's technically three, but the first slow corner on the track that allowed me to get up the inside. And the neon's gonna take home its first win and its first race out. Love to see it. No great laps there, obviously, but not a bad run. Well done by the SRT4 Neon. Coming home with the fastest lap by a good chunk there. It looks like about two seconds. Not a bad car at all. I like it.